UCLA edge rusher Leatu Latu is my third ranked edge rusher and 23rd ranked player in the 2024 draft class. He's the most pro ready pass rusher in this class. His hand usage and technical development is rare for a college edge rusher, but he has some medical concerns and probably isn't as athletically gifted as some other players. That's why I have him as my third edge. But as a prospect, I think he has an extremely high floor and feel great about taking him in the first round. As someone with limited cooking skills, I've always struggled to find healthy meals that taste good and don't take a long time to prepare. But Factor helps me avoid takeout and ordering in with delicious and nutritious, no-nonsense food that's ready quickly. Their meals come pre-prepared, ready to eat in two minutes, which is perfect for busy lifestyles. And if you wanna try this out, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code ATOZFILM50 and get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Leatu Latu had a dominant season in 2023, 62 pressures, 15 sacks. He ranked first in the Power Five with a 26.2 pass rush win rate. Watching him in his final season at UCLA, it's like if you took an above average NFL pass rusher and put him in the Pac-12. His technical refinement and the number of different moves that he had at his disposal was just an unfair matchup for most college tackles. His go-to move is definitely the cross chop, but he's able to win with swipes, clubs, swim moves, any kind of hand move that you can think of. He's got multiple wins with that on tape and he's so quick with his hands. He just leaves blockers frozen. He gets in and out of these moves before they have time to react. But it's not just that he has four or five moves that he knows how to execute. The most impressive part about Leatu Latu to me is how fluid he is transitioning between moves and reacting to what the offensive tackle is giving him. You rarely get the sense that he's predetermined before the snap which move he's going to use. It's like he gets a couple steps upfield. He sees how the offensive tackle setting reacts reacts to their punch, and then in a split second, he just has this bank of all these different techniques that he can pull off to defeat whatever technique the blocker's using. And then he just has relentless effort and motor. If the first move doesn't work, he's immediately transitioning into a counter, and it's pretty much inevitable that at some point he's going to get to the quarterback. I don't think he's an elite athlete, but he does have a fairly explosive first step. He can force tackles into oversets, and then once he sees that opening through the B-gap, he's got a fluid inside counter. And then I think he has above average bend. He's pretty tall, so it can be difficult for him to get that low to the ground, but I would say he has enough bend to win as a speed rusher in the NFL. And then UCLA did a great job of lining him up all over the defensive front. He could win off the edge. They'd line him up against guards and centers on third downs, and he was able to adjust his moveset based on what position he was playing. As far as his pass rushing moveset, it's hard to find too many things to critique. He doesn't really use a spin move that often, and the few times he did try it, it was relatively uncoordinated. And then he he isn't much of a power rusher. He got a few wins with a long arm, but overall that wasn't a major part of his pass rushing arsenal. At the Senior Bowl, he measured in with 32 and a half inch arms, which is 15th percentile for edge rushers. I think this does show up at times on his college tape. He actually misses with his hands fairly often. Even on some of his pass rushing wins, like when he uses a cross chop, there's plenty of examples of him getting to the quarterback, but he actually misses with his hands on the cross chop. Like he's whiffing on the outside hand. It's just the level of tackles that he was facing, simply him swinging his arms in front of their face was enough to freeze them and get them to stop their feet. And then I mentioned how he played with relentless effort and he's quick getting into his secondary pass rushing moves, but he does have a hard time freeing himself if tackles are able to land their hands inside and secure contact, especially when you're doing all these cross face moves where you're exposing your chest, that's opening yourself up to get latched onto. And he was a lot less productive and effective against the better competition that he faced, which is going to be the case for pretty much every pass rusher, but with Leatu Latu, I thought the difference was pretty extreme. He did clean up against some pretty bad offensive tackles, Coastal Carolina, Colorado, the right side of USC's offensive line, Stanford. So many of his best games were against offensive linemen that definitely won't be playing in the NFL, but honestly shouldn't even be starting in college. And then when he did go up against NFL caliber competition, he was pretty ineffective. If you watch his reps against Talise Fuaga from Oregon State, Jordan Morgan at Arizona, even 
even Jonah Monheim, who's USC's left tackle, who isn't in this class, he'll probably be a day three pick next year. Against those players, Leatu Latu had very few wins once the difference in technical proficiency kind of shrunk. As a run defender, I think he has really good hand activity to keep himself clean. His pass rushing skill set translates to that phase, and he's able to make some plays in the backfield, but he's a fairly inconsistent tackler, and he's got a thin lower half, so he really struggles to anchor against downhill runs and set a hard edge. Talise Fuaga was able to widen him out to pretty much the sideline on a couple plays. And then he also doesn't have elite chase down speed, so when the running back breaks outside, there are times that he struggles to keep contained. But he has excellent screen awareness. A lot of offenses that just had no shot of blocking UCLA's pass rushers would try to counter that with slip screens, and Latu was able to sniff those out, make tackles behind the line of scrimmage, and when they would drop him into zone coverage, he had pretty good awareness for an edge rusher, actually got two interceptions this season. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL draft prospects that you'd like me to cover, and if you want to see my full draft board as an interactive, filterable table, I've got that up at a to zsports.com. The link to that is in the description.